most of us at some point in our busy lives have trouble remembering things especially events from our distant past what if we could remember nearly every day of our life hello everyone i am shivdasan welcome to manasam your very own channel fully dedicated to the health and welfare of each one of us psychologists generally use the term forgetting to refer to the apparent loss of information already encoded and stored in our long term memory system we often say that we forget events when the memory does not match the way they actually happened an old schoolmate or friend is seen unexpectedly in the market although there are small differences when we met we recognized each other and shook hands and talked seriously after he left we tried hard to remember his name but could not and out of hesitation we could not ask his name also there are very few people who have not gone through such a situation at least once in their life a person who quickly forgets his classmate's name seems to have this problem only for himself but is it so do you think this forgetfulness is unique to us when do we become more aware of memory usually that is when it fails right we become aware when we are unable to remember the information we need at that particular moment often memory seems to let us down just when we need it most for instance during an exam why is this happening why information entered into long term memory is sometimes lost at least in part with the passage of time the earliest view of forgetting is that information entered into long term memory fades or decays with the passage of time while this seems to fit with our subjective experience many studies indicate that the amount of forgetting is not simply a function of how much time has elapsed rather what happens during that period of time is crucial there are many reasons why people forget things let us examine three important theories here encoding failure one of the simplest is that some things never get encoded in the first place your friend for example may have said something to you as he walked out the door and you may have heard him but if you were not paying attention to what he said it would not get past sensory memory this is not forgetting as it is encoding failure it is a failure to process information into memory memory trace decay theory one of the older theories of forgetting involves the concept of memory trace a memory trace is some physical change in the brain perhaps in a neuron or in the activity between neurons which occurs when a memory is formed over time if these traces are not used they may decay fading into nothing it would be similar to what happens when a number of people walk across a particular patch of grass causing a path to appear in which the grass is trampled down and perhaps turning brown but if people stop using the path the grass grows back and the path disappears interference theory a possible explanation of forgetting is that although most long term memories may be stored more or less permanently in the brain those memories may not always be accessible to attempted retrieval because other information interferes an analogy might be this the can of paint that one wants may very well be on some shelf in his storeroom but there is so much other junk in its way that he cannot see it and cannot get to it so forgetting refers to the apparent loss of information already encoded and stored in our long term memory how much is forgotten depends on many factors please stay tuned with me for more captivating topics filled with wisdom and inspiring information on our health and well being don't forget to like subscribe and share this video with others who may find this subject very important and as always be happy and keep smiling also please share your thoughts in the comment section below thank you for being with me